All right, we are bouncing around and heading up into the hills of North Georgia. Got a few people. Uh, that's one guy back there. I don't even know if you can right. see, it's too bouncy. Uh, we got four kayaks and we're going up to this awesome lake, which I'll uh, explain a little more when we get there. Yeah, they, uh, they've they been bouncing around a little bit. We've gone up this road. We still got like like a few more miles to go. So this is only our second time to read strap them down. Getting up high though. It's gonna look good. This place is the highest elevated lake in Georgia. And they, I don't remember, what it, it's something about it. They have to stock it. They stock it with catfish, uh, bluegill, and largemouth. That's like all that's in there, I think. So um, hopefully the fish are active and we can get some. I'm just gonna go for bass first to see what we can get. All right, I got something I'm using today that ah, I bought at Walmart and uh, I thought it'd be a great little kit. This uh, Yum Bass Kit. Uh, 48 pieces, got hooks and everything. My plan, I've been doing a lot of kayaking here recently, this week. I've, I've done like three big trips this week and today's Saturday. And I feel like kind of taking it a little easier. So I'm bringing like minimal equipment and my plan is just to use this. Oh, well that's got, yeah, everything I probably would need for bass fishing. It's got lizards, uh, four inch yum dingers, which I really like. Several six inch yum dingers, whatever that is. So I got a, quite a bit of stuff right there. And I got the hooks and everything, a couple different size hooks. So my plan is just to use this on a, I got a medium setup. Gonna use this kit, see if I can catch bass just on this uh, yum bass kit. I'm gonna start out with the four inch. I got a little more confidence in it and I am hooking it up. Weedless, little, uh, I think it's a three aught hook. So starting out with that, hopefully we can find some fish. Oh, I, just, I saw him hitting and I jerked too soon. I had one come out and hit it. Well, that was really, that was really fast. There's one. Got out, got off right at the boat. Almost had it in. I saw him like flash on it and hit it. I don't know how I got him this far and he came off. Oh, oh. Am I gonna land one? They are fired up. All right. Yeah, they're they're small, so we'll see how he barely got hooked. So a wacky rig may have been a better setup, but for these little guys, if I get a bigger one, he's gonna have no trouble getting it in the mouth. So one fish on the in the truck in the kayak out of the three I've missed. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a little better. All right, they're definitely back in here. That was about two minutes after I caught my last one. Oh, I threw my yum dinger up. Oh, he took that one all the way. Second bass today, uh, 13 or 14 inches long. He's a skinny one though. So that was two pretty quick right here. Oh, there's one. Oh, it bit when I was sitting down. 
I, I was sitting down. I've already lost two that way. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Man. I was sitting down and he pulled while I was, and I, I tried yeah. to hunt it. I should have let him take it. Oh, there we go. Take it, take it. Oh, we got him. Yeah. See, if we can, see if we can get him in. <laughs> yeah, that's, look, he barely got it. Barely got hooked. Man, I've been missing fish like crazy today. Look how he got hooked though. That's why they're they're just not big enough to get the whole thing in their mouth easy. But all right, I'll take them if they keep biting. I went back to the four inch yum dinger. I saw some really big ones back there. They were just cruising. And uh, also, I threw a spinner bait for a minute and had a hit, and it came off. So I just put this four inch uh, one back on there for right now. But we, we got a little more time. We've only been out here for an hour and a half, so it's been. Pretty uh, active hour and a half. Any luck? Three shallow or pretty deep? I caught three uh, shallow. Really? I've lost four. A bunch of little ones biting. Your voice sounds familiar. Me? Where are you from? Cleveland. Cleveland, Georgia? Cleveland, Tennessee. You don't have a YouTube channel, do you? Yeah. Which one? Creek Fishing Adventures. I like your stuff. Right? <laughs> I appreciate you it. Been up here. Fishing. You been up here before? No, it's the first time. I've been wanting to do it. And uh, Eli from my church, he uh, he's in high school. He, he, he wanted to come up here. Oh, there's a giant right there. Well, not giant, giant, but pretty good size. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> I uh. I uh, appreciate it. I need to, I need to get me a good one for the to make a video out of it. I gotta. It, yeah, sometimes, some days it can be like that, and, but I just try to enjoy it as most, most I can, and just, if it turns out good, it turns out good. If it turns out too bad, then I'll just, like, well, I won't make a video out of that. Most of the time, if I can, something happens, something interesting, it'll, I'll turn it into something. Yeah, you gotta get something. You look like you're doing a great job. Whoa, that's nice. There we go. I think so. If it'll stay on here. Woo, little one. Uh, a four inch yum dinger, like a worm. It's a uh, green pumpkin, I think. Okay. I'm just sinking it by these logs and stuff. That's the only place I've been getting any bites, so. Little, little bass. I'm gonna upsize to that little bass swing. We'll see if the little ones are about this far. What'd you throw? Little tiny little kind of like rebel size little ones. Probably should be throwing like a, t a small swim bait, like a three inch swim bait. I've got some little paddle tail bloops that are mini size. Go throw one of those. There we go. There you go. That might be a solid one. That's not bad. Hey, stay on, stay on. I'm glad you're catching them. You want to come over there and see what you're catching? Some, somebody's got to catch them around here. I, I bring three other people out here. Do they catch any fish? No. I got a. Be over there in a second. I'm a bit off. <laughs> I got representing the whole crowd. Ooh. I might put a freaking Ned rig on. I'm about tempted to. I mean, there's a bunch of them in there. We, I've seen a couple of good ones. Yeah, oh, I've seen good. He's bleeding a little bit. I got him just barely in the gill. 
So we'll put him back in the water. That was on that little, that didn't take long to get one on that. On this, uh, whatever this bass form thing is. All right, I need to change up. What is that, a black and blue? Yeah. Oh, that's, well, maybe I can change up the color. I gotta try one more lure. No! Yep, that goes in the that goes in the video, right? You can't see it. I know. I try to add stuff like that in there, but most of the time it's hard to my camera's facing the other way. Meadows over here scaring the fish away. I mean I'm trying to catch something. How I catch how I catch fish? You're splashing all around. No, I've got a few. There we go. On the six inch yum dinger, he hit that thing hard. There we go. And so we have an end to this trip in this video. Gotta unload uh, my kayaks. And um, uh, good see, that's why I kept my kayak. I got that's mine, and then that one, the meadow borrowed. Uh, caught a few fish, saw some big old fish, met a couple people that knew me from YouTube uh, that watched my videos. So all in all, pretty cool day. Uh, all the drone footage, thanks to Eli. So hopefully that turned out good. I can't wait to take a look at it. So thanks for watching. Oh yeah. So by the way, this is uh, Eli's trailer, and uh, we got all the way back. And uh, found out that this was broke. Well, as soon as we got the, uh, the uh, kayaks off. Oh, yeah, you know, a little rough on those bouncy roads.